Now to Alaska's historic Senate race. With just a handful of votes left to be counted, Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski says she has won a new term. That would be a significant loss for Sarah Palin, who tried to knock out her, uh, her opponent and failed. Before we speak with the senator, let's get to the story from Capitol Hill. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes there with the latest. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Harry. This was a huge uphill battle for Lisa Murkowski, who was urged by Republican leaders not to wage this campaign after she lost her primary bid. She had to convince Alaska voters to write in her name in huge numbers, and it appears she was successful. And so today, my friends, my campaign for Alaska's future begins. It was a risky bid and the risk paid off. The last successful Senate write-in campaign was more than 50 years ago. But Wednesday, Senator Lisa Murkowski announced she'd done it. We did. We made history. Alaskans made history. With just 750 ballots left to count, Murkowski is leading her GOP rival, Tea Party enthusiast Joe Miller, by more than 10,000 votes. Miller is challenging more than 8,000 of those votes, especially ones that are misspelled. But that still gives Murkowski a 2,000 vote lead. He may be trailing, but Miller isn't conceding. It's not a question as to how I feel. It's a question as to whether or not the voters of the state of Alaska deserve to have a consistent standard applied in the future, whether or not they deserve integrity in the vote. And those are questions that aren't answered yet. It's a big blow for former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, who backed Miller from the start. In a new interview with Barbara Walters, Palin wouldn't say whether she'll run for president in 2012, but she did predict what the outcome would be if she did. If you ran for president... Could you beat Barack Obama? I believe so. Murkowski told Katie Couric this week how she feels about her fellow Alaska Republican. I just do not think that she has those leadership qualities, that intellectual curiosity that allows for, for building good and great policies. Murkowski will return to Capitol Hill in a very unique position, not beholden to the Republican leaders who turned their backs on her when she decided to run, and not beholden to the Tea Party, which did everything it could to defeat her. Harry? Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill, thank you.